Hey, welcome back to the uh, Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. And uh, today we have Justin Morgan had a horse. Um, I'm not going to pretend to know anything about horses, uh, but this actually did teach me a, a little bit about uh, the history of uh, what would become known as the Morgan horse, which uh, I'm guessing that it had a lot to do with the evolution of horse racing uh, in America, at least. Um, Basically, this takes place a little bit after the uh, Revolutionary War. Uh, this guy named Justin Morgan, he was in debt to somebody, and he made some sort of deal, and he end up, ended up with two horses, one of which was a little tiny horse. He was not, not a pony or anything, but it was like a little tiny horse who uh, nobody thought much of. The guy he owed money to was ready to give him a dollar for it. Uh, and, and that might have been a lot of money back then, but it, for the most part, it, it you know... It wasn't. So if they were pretty much going to turn him into glue. Uh, but Justin was like, no, I really like this horse. He's super cute. I want to keep him, and I'm going to raise him myself. And yeah, the horse is super cute. It's like not big, not small. It's just like this perfect uh, size for kids, actually. Uh, when he starts coming, when he comes home uh, with the horses, the kids along the road, you're like, oh, I like that horse. That's, that's about my size. That's perfect. Um, the reason why the kids, you know, approached him because he's their school teacher. Uh, Justin Morgan was a school teacher. He's a songwriter, uh, but he also raised these this special little horse. And uh, it turned out that despite his size, he could really pull things like things much bigger than you'd you'd think. Uh, they didn't really nobody really expected a whole lot out of him, but. Uh, he became a, a decent draft horse, or not decent, really good, uh, and he became, um, and he was fast, even with, like, two people, like you see here, two people on, on his back, he was just blowing people out of the water, and eventually, uh, he just started, you know, racing against other horses in the area, and uh, this is sort of like a, almost like a hot rod kind of thing, it would be a, an al analogous, analogous to hot rodding today, guys are just, you know, put their horses up against him. This car, was, this car, this horse was the sweetest ride in town and he was just beating and blowing the doors off everybody. Uh, well, the guy who, who basically is the, the rich guy, the squire, I forget his name, he's uh, Squire Fisk, Fisk, like Wilson Fisk, like the, the kingpin. He's the kingpin of Vermont, basically. Uh, this is where it takes place. Uh, oh, and just so you know, well, before I forget, this, this was filmed in, came out in 1972. It's an hour and 20 minutes long. Um, it feels much older, because basically because it's set so much so far in the past. But anyway, the squire, who pretty much uh, employs everybody in the area on their different farms with uh, horses and things like that, he, uh, he sees them just lollygagging around before work early in the morning and racing the horses and he's like all right everybody loses a day pay and uh you owe me money justin and uh, this is you're wasting my time and everybody else's and uh he takes the horse so i i don't want to tell you anything more about it because i actually kind of think that even though um unless you watched it with me i'm probably the only person who's watched this movie on on disney plus like i said uh, this this selection process, this random selection process, gives me access to stuff I would have never have found, never would have picked out in a million years. I mean, I would have stuck to Marvel and Star Wars and and just all the major films and series and stuff like that. Uh, I would have never imagined. And honestly, when I when I saw this come up, I was thinking I was going to be bored to death, and uh, I wasn't. I was really surprised by it. It's yeah, it's not going to be my favorite movie in the world, and uh, it. It definitely shows his age, uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's about a man and his little tiny horse, and uh, the the children in the town who love him, and the 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 woman who he's betro sort of betrothed to, who's just tired of have, waiting around to marry him, and she's also indebted to this uh, uh, what you call the the squire Fisk, so everybody owes this guy, uh, so. Yeah, but there's a big race that uh, there's that comes up, and uh, it's it's actually kind of cool. I didn't expect it to to go the way it did. Uh, yeah, so I, it's a charming film. Uh, 
it's definitely a product of its time of you know late 60s early 70s it feels like disney uh, early early wholesome disney uh it it might move at too slow of a pace for today's modern kids who need to bam 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 just constant uh endorphin blasts in their face i guess but uh yeah it's if you have a little kid to like horses uh, or if you like horses yourself, uh, I think you'd find this little piece of, it's, again, it's a, based on a true story. So it's, it's not, who knows how, how much of this is true, but for the most part, uh, yeah, the, the Morgan horse line is a real thing. You can look it up and, uh, find out what was true and what was not. But if nothing else, I think you'd be well entertained by this film. Uh, I, I actually really enjoyed it. I, again, I didn't set my expectations very high, but, uh, and, and it's not exactly like a, a movie that I'm going to watch again or that it's, oh my God, it's a must see. But it, for me, I like, I like little movies that are about history, pieces of history, uh, origins of things, uh, in our world that we don't, but we just don't really think about that. It's a little, you know, we take it for granted that it's something that's, I mean, like I said, I don't know anything about horses. I went to a farm show recently in Pennsylvania, and there was horses, draft horses, and they were doing competitions on how they move around and everything else. But honestly, I, I don't know and don't much care uh, for the most part when it comes to things like that. But I, just, I found this uh, really interesting because I, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of the stuff that uh, I saw in live in Pennsylvania uh, grew out of this, even though there weren't Morgan horses that I can recall. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it's a, it's still uh, an interesting, an interesting thing. And uh, it's also, I think one of the things I, I noticed that they changed the way people ride horses when it comes to uh, like jockeying, when it comes to horse races. So they didn't come right out and say it, but I think that's something that is implied in the film. So it's, I thought it was kind of really cool. Maybe you won't. I don't know. But uh, I'd say you get a shot if you have uh, nothing else. If you've watched everything else, with, you know, on Disney Plus, and you like horses, and you like a little bit of history, uh, blow an hour and a half and enjoy. Justin Morgan had a horse on Disney Plus, and uh, I think you might be ple pleasantly surprised. So let's pick tomorrow's. The number reset itself as my iPad died. 487. Now, we don't get a whole lot of four, 400s. Uh, we usually get threes and sixes and stuff. 487. Let's see what we got. 487. Oh, wow. I really moved right to it. 487. Looks like it's a series. Don't know what this is, but I have a feeling it's like a Disney Channel kids kind of thing. Maybe there's dancing. I have no idea. But it's called Shake It Up. Shake it up. So we're going to shake it up. Shake it up. On the Disney Plus Everyday Challenge. Tomorrow. Watch it. We'll meet back here. And we'll, we'll talk about it. Alright. I'll see you then. Bye.